Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve problems under exercise 8.4. The problem number 5. Prove the following identities where the angles involved are acute angles for which the expressions are defined. So we have to prove the identities, right? So the identity that is the given expression is cosecant theta minus cot theta whole square is equal to 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta. Right. So, regarding prove that as I already said there is no specific method to be exactly used. Right. You can what to say. You can write it in the way you want but the thing is you should arrive with the answer that is on the right hand side. Okay. That's the thing. There may be n, n type of methods which you can use to solve an expression. Right. So here I am taking my LHS and again I am telling you can take LHS and end up with an equation. Similarly, you can take the RHS and end up with the same, same type of equation. If both the terms are same, then you can write LHS equal to RHS. That's it. Right. But here in this case, I am taking LHS and I am arriving at an expression that is equal to your RHS. Right. So first is cosecant theta minus cot theta, the whole square. So here cosecant is expressed in the form of sine and cot theta in the form of cos and sine. So cosecant theta is 1 by sine theta minus cot theta is cos theta by sine theta. Right. Since the denominator terms are same, we can combine the numerator terms. So 1 minus cos theta divided by sine theta, the whole square. Right. Now again I am splitting this square for numerator and denominator therefore here this becomes 1 minus cos theta the whole square divided by sin square theta right. So as per the identity you see sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So here sin square theta can be written as 1 minus cos square theta right. So just replace sin square theta by 1 minus cos square theta. So again you see 1 minus cos square theta we can write a square over 1 right because 1 square and 1 all are same. So here this is of the format a square minus b square right. So we can write it as a plus b into a minus b. So you keep this numerator as such and we are writing the denominator as 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta. So this square and this term get cancel and finally we are having 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta which is the thing what we need right you see here we are having 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta and this is the final expression what we have derived right this problem gets over we will move on to the next one so this is your second part of your fifth problem so cos a by 1 plus sin a plus 1 plus sin a by cos a is equal to 2 secant a. Right. So here in this case the first step is we are going to take LCM. Right. So in LCM the denominator terms will be 1 plus sin a into cos a. Right. So here we are having 1 plus sin a. So we have to multiply by, by this cos a. So cos a into cos a becomes cos square a and again here we are having cos a so we have to multiply these two terms. So 1 plus sin a into 1 plus sin a and divided by 1 plus sin a into cos a. Right. So now the next thing is since we are having the same terms right 1 plus sin a into 1 plus sin a so this becomes 1 plus sin a the whole square divided by 1 plus sin a into cos a. Right. And the next thing is you see we are writing this cos square a as such and I am writing this expression that is you see it is in the form of a plus b whole square. So we can write it as how we can expand this a square plus b square plus 2ab. So in the place of a I am having 1 so 1 square is 1 plus b square in the place of b I am having sin a therefore it is sin square a plus 2ab so 2 into 1 into sin a. Right. And the denominator term remains as such. Now, the next thing is, you see, when you combine these two terms, that is cos square a plus sin square a. What is the formula? Cos square theta plus sin square theta makes 1. Therefore, this becomes 1 and this plus 1 here and plus 2 sin a. Okay. Divided by 1 plus sin a into cos a. 
Now when you add 1 plus 1 becomes 2. Therefore 2 plus 2 sin a divided by 1 plus sin a into cos a. So when you look at this numerator you see I am having 2 as a common thing. So when you take these 2 outside this becomes 1 plus sin a. Right. Now this 1 plus sin a and 1 plus sin a cancels each other and finally we are having 2 divided by cos a. So 1 by cos a is nothing but secant a. So here we can write it as 2 secant a. Right. So third part of our, of our problem number 5. So here the problem is tan theta by 1 minus cot theta plus cot theta by 1 minus tan theta which is equal to 1 plus secant theta into cosecant theta. Right. So here we are taking our LHS part. So, after writing LHS, you see, we are representing tan and cot in the form of cos and sin. Right. So, tan theta is sin theta by cos theta divided by 1 minus cot theta is cos theta by sin theta. And similarly, cot theta is cos by sin and tan is sin by cos. Right. Now, the next step is we have to take LCM for this denominator part. So, how will you take LCM? 1 into sin theta. So, sin theta minus cos theta, the whole thing divided by sin theta. Right. And similarly, here also cos theta minus sin theta divided by cos theta. Right. Now, the thing is, I am moving this denominator part to the numerator. So, this will appear as a reciprocal. Right. So, here when you move, you see the sin theta by cos theta as such and this term becomes sin theta by sin theta minus cos theta and here cos theta by sin theta multiplied by cos theta divided by cos theta minus sin theta right so when you multiply what happens sin into sin becomes sin square theta divided by this cos theta multiplied by sin theta minus cos theta Similarly for this part, okay, cos theta cos theta becomes cos square theta divided by sin theta into cos theta minus sin theta, right. So here the thing is, you see, here I am having sin theta minus cos theta, but here I am having cos theta minus sin theta, okay, just reverse of this term. So here I am taking a minus sign commonly outside. So, when I take minus outside, what happens? This plus cos theta becomes minus and this minus cos theta becomes plus. Right. And this minus when get multiplied with this plus. So, my plus into minus becomes minus. Okay. Am I making sense here? Just I am rewriting. When you rewrite this as sin theta minus cos theta, what happens? Yeah, I am taking a minus sign outside. And this minus sign when gets multiplied with this plus, plus into minus becomes minus. Right. So, minus cos square theta by sin theta into, this is rewritten as sin theta minus cos theta. Right. So, now we are going to take LCM again. Because here there is cos theta and here there is sin theta. Na, but these two terms are same. So, when you take LCM what happens? Again, sin square theta into sin theta becomes sin cube theta and cos square theta multiplied by this cos theta becomes cos cube theta. Right and denominator is sin theta into cos theta multiplied by sin theta minus cos theta. Right. Now the next thing is this is of the format a cube minus b cube. Right. So this can be written as a minus b into a square plus b square plus a b right so here it is a minus b so in the place of a i am having sin theta in the place of b i am having cos theta so sin theta minus cos theta multiplied by a square so it is sin square b square is cos square plus a b sin theta into cos theta divided by this term right now these two terms you see this sin theta minus cos theta and this sin theta minus cos theta cancels each other. So what about the remaining terms? Remaining terms are we will be having this part with this one. Right. Again when you look at this, this is of the format sin square theta plus cos square theta therefore it is 1. Right. So 1 plus sin theta cos theta divided by sin theta into cos theta. Again I am writing it as individual terms. So, here it is 1 by sin theta cos theta plus sin theta cos theta by sin theta cos theta. 
So here these two terms cancels each other and here we are having 1 by sin theta into cos theta plus 1. Right. So again I am splitting this as two terms 1 by sin theta multiplied by 1 by cos theta. So, 1 by sin theta is cosecant theta and 1 by cos theta is secant theta plus 1. Right. So, this is the thing what we actually need to prove. Right. So, now our fourth part of problem number 5. Right. 1 plus secant a by secant a equal to sin square a by 1 minus cos a. So, in this case, we are taking both LHS and RHS. Right. First, we start with LHS. So, here the LHS is 1 plus secant A by secant A is equal to 1 plus this secant A can be written as 1 by cos A. And again this secant A is written as 1 by cos A. Right. So, here we have to take LCM. So, when you take LCM what happens? 1 into cos A becomes cos A plus 1 the whole divided by cos A. And here it is 1 by cos A. Right. And these two cos A terms get cancelled. And finally we are having 1 plus cos A. Right. Now we are taking our right hand side. So here you see sin square A by 1 minus cos A. And this sin square A can be written as 1 minus cos square A. Right. So again this 1 can be written as 1 square minus cos square A. Because 1 square and 1 they have the same value. Okay. So, again this is of the format a square minus b square. So, we can write it as how we can write a square minus b square can be written as a plus b into a minus b. Right. So, what is your a here? It is 1. What is your b here? It is your cos a. So, 1 plus cos a multiplied by 1 minus cos a the whole divided by 1 minus cos a. So, these two terms cancel each other and here finally we are having 1 plus cos a. Right. So, this is what we are having for our LHS also. So, finally, both the values are same. Hence, the given statement is proved. Right. That's all. If you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. Thank you.